ESCOM blamed a week of rain, which has soaked its coal stocks and hobbled its ability to meet demand. It sought to prepare the country for the blackouts, but business confidence is bound to suffer. Yesterday's incident of distress came at a time where business is grappling with high and rising input costs. It's grappling with a weak and low level of confidence in its markets and is grappling with a changing dynamic in the global environment. ESCOM shut off power to various parts of the country for several hours at a time. Some businesses could cut back, but others suffered. Coffees. We're a coffee shop. You can't pull coffee if you've got no power to pull coffee. Um, washing dishes. No heating of water, so it means that yes, you can wash dishes, but come glasses and, and your silverware, you can't, you can't get it properly clean. The lack of electricity affects every aspect of a business. The machine for credit card was not working, uh, the computer was not working, and we had to, to do some calculation by hand. And one client complained because we did a mistake. ESCOM has issued several warnings in the past months, some of them due to the capacity coming offline for maintenance. It says it's going to do everything possible to keep the lights on, but industry is worried. We moved from having a crisis to rotational load shedding. It did up the ante in terms of concerns around this risk. The risk is quantifiable. For businesses, it means contingency planning and allocating capital to keep the doors open and the lights on. But not everyone is happy to spend that money. It's the cost of a generator. You're paying electricity as well. You, you, you pray that that's going to be supplied. That's what you're paying for. So you want your, your electricity that you're paying for to be supplied to you, that you don't have to get a generator in order to cope. ESCOM's outgoing chief executive, Brian Damas, says the rolling outages were implemented to avoid a total national blackout. This offered little solace to those who lost customers and business. Load shedding is an emotive issue, especially if you're a business owner, because even though you try and plan for every eventuality, you're going to have unhappy customers. These customers are expecting electricity because they're paying for it. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV in Johannesburg.